Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, I want to tell you about a little Easter egg on Williams Theater of Magic. And so the way this one works is before the game starts, hold down the right flipper and then press the start button. And after you do, you're going to see a little message that says Mortal Kombat 3 hints enabled. And the, the hints will be revealed to you when you complete the uh, letters in theater which you can do by hitting the left orbit. And so these hints uh, will be revealed as you play the game. Um, I haven't seen all the hints, but basically what you'll see is different symbols like Raiden or the number three or Shao Kahn. And you can use these codes on the Mortal Kombat 3 game. I think the arcade versions and the console ports, I think they, they would work on them what these codes would enable players to do is that they could use them to unlock different characters, uh, alternate costumes, different special moves, and that was something that a lot of Mortal Kombat players really enjoyed. That uh, kind of the secrets and the hidden Easter eggs in that game itself. Um, because if you're a fan of Mortal Kombat uh, of the earlier games, you'll know that the game itself also has a lot of secrets. So I thought it was a cool thing to see um, that they added Mortal Kombat 3 Easter eggs in pinball, uh, kind of as a sign of that merger between Bally and Mid Midway and Williams. Another thing that people kind of forget about, and which is something I didn't realize, was that Steve Ritchie, another famous pinball designer, um, also voiced Shao Kahn in Mortal Kombat 2 and Mortal Kombat 3. And he also suggested that the name Mortal Kombat, instead of using the letter C, he actually suggested to use the letter K. So when you spell Mortal Kombat, the K is like a huge thing. People remember Mortal Kombat because of that little switch from C to a K. And so that's one of the coolest things about this Bally Midway merger is that if you're a fan of pinball and Mortal Kombat, you get the best of both worlds because also when you play uh, some of these earlier 90s machines, you'll hear a lot of the same music and uh, sound effects and sound bites between these machines and the Mortal Kombat games. So hope you enjoyed. Till next time, I'll catch you guys later.